Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Going to read through the majority of the article here. There is a link in the description. It is a tragedy. I do need to give you a trigger warning. It involves the torture, child abuse and murder of the young boy that you see in front of you. 11-year-old Roman Anthony Lopez. We'll look through the details in a moment. I do men need to mention that there are also details pertaining to sexual abuse child sexual abuse um so we're going to have a look at all of that very very grim i'm afraid and uh if you do appreciate the coverage of this topic please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit but this one's going to be a dark one the california stepmother of an 11 year old boy who died in january 2020 was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison with the possibility of parole on friday so She's been given life in prison, but she's going to be eligible for parole after 15 years. That's because she took a plea deal. Roman Anthony Lopez, the 11-year-old boy here, was found dead inside a storage bin in the basement of the family's home just a few hours after he was reported missing on January the 11th, 2020. Authorities in Placerville, California arrested the boy's father, Jordan Piper, as well as his stepmother, Lindsay Piper, 38 years of age. They were arrested in February 2021, approximately a month after the discovery of Roman Anthony Lopez's body. They were arrested on torture and child abuse charges. Formal murder charges were later filed against both of them in October. The both of them, the father and the stepmother, initially pleaded not guilty to the charges. However, the stepmother changed her plea to no contest on one charge of murder in the second degree. And she made that change in May of this year. Um, here's a quote from the attorney's office, district attorney's office. Lindsay Marie Piper willfully and un unlawfully mingled a poison and harmful substance with food, drink, medicine and pharmaceutical product. The stepmother will be eligible for parole in 15 years. Uh, she has additional charges of torture, poisoning and child abuse. But those charges were dismissed as part of the plea deal. So... You can question whether or not the plea deal has worked in this case. Um, should she have faced these charges? Is it right? Is it just that these charges were dismissed? My feeling, for whatever it's worth, is in this case, this plea deal seems to be quite good in regards to it is seemingly, in my mind, in my opinion hopefully giving justice to the deceased roman anthony lopez she has been given a life sentence in prison now yes it's possible that she may get out after 15 years um but that's not a given i don't know maybe i'm a little bit torn in between i'm not sure the father was additionally accused of failing to provide for his child according to the charges the torture and the child abuse was said to have occurred under circumstances or conditions likely to produce great bodily injury or death. At the time Roman died, he was living in a house of seven other children. Um, and the family had only moved to that location two months prior to the boy's discovery in a storage bin. The article tells us that an autopsy showed no signs of obvious trauma, but that the victim, Roman Anthony Lopez, was severely malnourished and dehydrated. So seemingly, he'd been starved to the point of death. The article wraps up by telling us that the father, Jordan Piper, was also charged with one count of sexual exploitation of a child. Now, it's not clear if that child is Roman or if it's any of the other seven other children that lived in the family home. 
the search warrants executed in the investigation turned up surreptitious sere- recordings of a victim under the age of 18. Many vin- videos of the minor girl, a minor girl, using the bathroom as well as bathing. So he had been recording one of the children in the home, presumably his own daughter, whilst she was using the bathroom, whilst she was bathing. Four hundred and thirty three nude images of the minor victim were found on the father's cell phone. And many of those images were in regards to the minor victim's genitals or pubic area. The video camera was placed in a manner to maximize the chances of recording the genitals of the minor, as well as other users of the bathroom. That's really the full details of the article. I did let you know that it's pretty grim. It involves the death of Roman. Seemingly he was starved, dehydrated, to death his body was stuffed in a storage bin um, the father and the stepmother are culpable the article is not telling us about the trial in regards to the father uh, so we don't know what's going on there but it has told us that the stepmother has pled guilty um and with that, she has been sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 15 years. I don't know. I'm not entirely happy with that. But, uh, I mean, I like the sound of the life in prison. But uh, the 15 years is would not be justice. So I'm going to wrap things up here at this point, guys. Have I done a half-decent job in covering this? Perhaps so, perhaps not. But if I have, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit and take care.